Hello, everyone. It's me, Ploy. Our topic for today is electromagnetism. First, we need to know what electromagnetism is. Electromagnetism is the relationship between electricity and magnetism, and the effect that they have on each other. Matter. Matter is made up of atoms. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The middle is made up of protons and neutrons, and outside is made up of electrons. And atoms can be positive or negative. When an atom loses an electron, it become positive. A positive or negative atoms is called an ion. There are two types of magnets: electromagnets and permanent magnets. What is electromagnet? An electromagnet is a magnet that runs on electricity. Unlike a permanent magnet, the strength of an electromagnet can easily be altered by changing the amount of electric current that flows through it. It's made by wrapping a coil of wire around a piece of iron. Which acts as a magnet when an electric current is passed through it. What is permanent magnet? A permanent magnet is an object made from a material that is magnetized and creates its own persistent magnetic field. An everyday example: a refrigerator magnet used to hold notes on the refrigerator door. Right hand rule by Fleming: There are three rules: one for wires, one for solenoid, and one for motors. Right hand rule for wire. If you hold a wire with your thumb pointing in the same direction as the electric current, your finger will point in the same direction as the magnetic field. Right hand rule for solenoid: Holding a solenoid with your thumb towards north. Your fingers will point in the same direction of electric current. Passing an electric current through a solenoid creates a magnetic field. Right hand rule for motors. The right hand rule for motors explain which direction a wire will move. If a current flows through it while in a magnetic field, this works when your fingers are perpendicular to each other. When your middle finger is pointing in the direction of the current, your thumb will be pointing in the direction of the force. Your first finger will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. And that's for electric. Oh my! <laughs> And that's it for electromagnetism. See you next time.